Hi, for this recording, we are given V is a span of 101 to 13 11 1. MW is a span of 101 to 13 We are going to find the dimension of V and dimension of W. To do this, let's recall what is the meaning of dimension. Recall that a dimension of a search space is a number of vectors in a basis of V. Now in this case, V is a span of 1, 0, 1, 2, 1, 3, and 0, 1, 1. Let's call these three vectors V1, V2, and V3. Now, all we need to do is to check whether these three vectors V1, V2, V3 are linearly independent. By solving the equation, x times 1, 0, 1, plus y times 2, 1, 3, plus z times 0, 1, 1, equal to 0, 0, 0. Now, from here, let's try to figure out what are the relations between them to the David's Day text, linear algebra and its application, chapter 4.6, example 2, page 280. We have the metric formed by the columns of V1, V2, V3, and now we do the row reduce form. So, for example, we take the first row times minus 1, then add to the third row, and then we take the second row times minus 1, add to the third row, and finally we take the second row times minus 2, then add to the first row, and we have the row reduced form. Now in this case, from the row of reduced form, we can see the relation between the columns of this V1, V2, V3. Basically, we find that column 3, for example, is actually minus 2 times column 1 plus 1 times column 2. Okay, column 3 is equal to minus 2 times column 1 plus one copy of column 2. And this is also translated to V3 plus 2V1 plus 1V2. Although this is not so obvious, we can actually see that V3, which is 0, 1, 1, is minus 2 copy of V1, which is 1, 0, 1, times 2, plus 1 copy of V2. Alright, so we can also have a similar relationship between them. That means that V2, one copy of V2, minus two copy of V1 is actually V3. You can check easily. So based on this, so V is a span of V1, V2, V3. And we know that V3 is minus two times of V1 plus V2. So we actually do need V3. So you can eliminate the V3, get rid of 0, 1, 1, and just need 1, 0, 1, and 2, 1, 3. So V is actually the span of V1 and V2. Therefore, the dimension of V in this case is 2 because there are only two vectors in the basis for V, where we know that V1 and V2 are linearly independent. Next, let's look at W now. W is a space spanned by 1, 0, 1, 2, 1, 3, 0, 1, 0. Let's call this three vector W1, W2, W3. Now we're going to check if the vectors W1, W2, W3 are linearly independent by solving the equation x times 1, 0, 1 plus y times 2, 1, 3 plus z times 0, 1, 0 equal to the 0 vector. Again, we make reference to David Lay's text, Linear Algebra and its application, chapter 4.6, example 2, page 280, to figure out any relation between the columns. So we have a metric formed by the columns W1, W2, W3, and right hand side is 0. We do the row operation. So the row operation is this. We take the first row times minus 1, add to the third row, and then 
We take the second row times minus one. Add to the third row. And then we take the second row times minus two. Add to the first row. And then the third row times minus one. And eventually we have a leading one in every column, in every row. Therefore, the row reduced from become 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. That means that there is no relation between the columns. Now, that means the columns from my W1, W2, W3 are linearly independent. So that means W equal to span of 1, 0, 1, 2, 1, 3, and 0, 1, 0, or span of W1, W2, W3, as W1, W2, W3 are linearly independent. So, dimension of W is equal to 3 now, as the basis of W consists of 3 vectors. We can also use the class pack to find the row reduced form. Let me show you how. Okay, so I'm going to invoke my class pack. Okay, then I'm going to enter another metric B now. So let me call B equal to, let me modify this function by dragging it now. This time, 1, 0, 1, 2, 1, 3, and 0, 1, 0. That is my metric B. So let me close the Keyboard. So I'm going to do the row reduce form. So I'm going to do action metric calculation RREF A. So this will tell me the relation between the columns of V, V1, V2, V3. Then I find that the third column is actually minus 2 times the first column plus 1 times the second column. Now, if I do RREF B space span by W1, W2, W3, I find that the row reduced form is identity matrix. That means that there is no relationship amongst the Ws. So W1, W2, W3 are linearly independent. That's the end of recording.